Hello, Devil Talk 73 here, the fisherman's friend. Been a while since I made a video, and uh, a lot of questions that seem to be asked no matter where you go is how do I level up? Lower level fishermen want to know how do I level up? What's the best way? What's the fastest way? Etc. Well, when you start off in Texas, the best thing to do is continue fishing there. You uh, use the lightest and the heaviest I guess uh, casting outfit that you got and a sloop spoon and just cast around and find the spotted bass that'll help you level up faster in Texas and then when you get to a level five you want to move on to more fertile grounds and uh, the way you do that is to move up to New York, Emerald Lake, okay? Preferably, if you stay until level 6 in Texas, you can get the line, uh, the mono point oh oh eight line, which is 4 pound line, that will help you more in uh, New York. So let me show you what we're going to be using. Let's see here. We're going to travel to New York. We go to inventory. Rig number one. Okay. Let me get rid of this. So you can see. Uh, a value spin seven six. Okay, seven foot six. You can buy that at level five. That'll help you down in, in uh, Texas as well as soon as you catch enough bluegill and, and uh, catfish and whatever to get level 5. You can buy this rod at level 5. Uh, Callisto XSR 1400 reel. Now, the cost of the rod is $1,800 at level 5. The cost of the reel is $1,150 level 5. And then the mono .008 line is uh, 140 bucks for uh, 150 yards which is enough that you'll need and that quarter ounce lure quarter ounce purple narrow lure so let's see what that's going to cost we want a spoon i think that's where it's at That's where it's at. Let me go back out. See, it cost me three thousand dollars every time I go in and out of New York. So you'll want to do that as few times as possible, and you want to buy the biggest keeper net that you can buy at your level, whatever that may be. Uh, if you're going to start off around twenty-four point five or something like that. Let's see. Keepers. So you're going to start off with level two, which is a, a three pound. Total fish weight, eight pounds. See, it's going, to, it's going to fill up pretty fast. So when you get to level four, you got 15 pound total weight, six and a half pound. So you see, you're still in Texas catching small fish. But when you get to level eight, up in New York, you get 5.5 pound max single weight, 26 pound. Now you're going to fill that up with about 8 to 10 fish, but that's okay. It's only $500 to extend each night up there. So you'll have enough money to do that. Just stay there and grind and grind and grind. And each time you can, each time you move up in, in, uh, levels like you get up to 15 you get a 55 pound level 18 55 pound but you got 11 pound fish weapon level 20 fish vessel m 
66 pounds. Okay? Each time you move up. Now, my recommendation is to stay at New York at least until you get to level 26. I know that's a lot of grinding. I, 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 I did the uh, Steam version and then started all over again uh, with the Xbox PC version back in Texas at level 1. There we go. Level 7 is where you can get that <coughs> quarter ounce. Oop, that's a 10 ounce. Boop, that ain't going to work. <laughs> ah, sorry. Well, interesting, interesting. It is a narrow spoon. And I know I got a bunch of them. Oh, it is a quarter ounce. There we go. Level seven, quarter ounce. <laughs> I can't write for reading. Quarter ounce, one aught. 260 bucks, and you get five of them. So if you get excited and over drag your line and lose one, it's not the end of the world. But that's something to be very wary of is where you set your drag. Okay, now we know we... Now we know at level seven we can get that lure. You're gonna I want you to stay there in Texas at least until level seven. Okay? That's important. You can get your uh, rods at level five, the line at level six, and that lure at level seven. But you can have that you'll have that sloop spoon. That you can just keep on catching those spotted bass in Texas. Now here's the other thing. I like to fish at night. Well, see that's not. There we go. I like to fish at night. Starting at 9 o'clock. Here you go 9 to 10.30. 2 to 5. 9 to 10.30. Etc. Uh, just like real life. The bigger fish come out at night. Now I'm going to show you the difference in the two rigs that once you get up to where you can uh, if you stay in New York and go up to level 20 now you can go to other lakes you can go to Florida let's see Florida Florida is a level 18 lake Oregon is 14 North Carolina is 10 uh, New York's 8 Colorado is 5 you can go to other lakes. If you want to go to other lakes, that's fine. The point that I'm making is you're going to level up faster in New York catching walleyes than you will at any of the other lakes. Now, let me show you the difference in the rigs. We're going to go to 9 o'clock. So in time... Nine o'clock. Oops. Nine o'clock. Okay. Now where you're wanting to cast is you see this yellow tree and this yellow tree. It's this area right in here is where they mostly are. And it's about 150, 145, 155 feet out. So we're going to start with the lightest rig first. Okay. That's the one. It's got the four pound, the four point four drag, uh, the the four pound line, and the uh, three to seven and a half max on the rod. Okay, now that one you have to cast out just about max. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get rid of this chat. Okay, let it sink to the bottom, and then stop and go, bounce it off the bottom. Now, the whole idea, now you see I've got a bigger uh, keeper up there, up here, but it's because I've, I've been uh, farming here a pretty good while. 
quiz any other game where I start it all over. Okay, here we go. And that's probably now. Be careful with your drag. See, now I'm going to increase the drag. Hit my plus button, plus key. And if I go one more, I probably over drag. So I want to leave it right there. I've only got four pound line. So I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it to break my line, lose my lure. So see how slow it's coming in. The idea is to catch as many fish as you can as fast as you can. That's the way you level up. So you're going to have to use this four pound line and catch fish like this until you can get to level 20. Level 20 is where you can get the rod, that jig winner rod. That'll, that'll make a big difference. We're fishing. We're catching fish and we're fishing. Now, if you... We'll get this in and see what it is, and I'll, I'll uh, explain a little bit of difference. If you were to go to Florida, let's say, uh, after you get done here, you want to go to Florida, you want to go to the other lake. Florida bass are uh, pretty good money, decent XP, but they don't compare to the walleye. The same weight fish of walleye or bass have about the same amount of money. Two and a half pound fish be between $250, $300. But the XP, the XP on that bass is going to be 25. The XP on that walleye is going to be around 70. Almost three times as much. So if you, if you catch the same number of fish, you're going to catch, level up faster by catching more walleye faster. It's just simple mathematics. But see how long this is taking to get this in? There ain't nothing you can do about it. If I increase this drag, one more click. Ah, that's max. I got lucky. I don't want to do any more. But it won't go above that. See, there's like a like a, uh, a break point. If I push it one more time, if that fish ain't coming in fast enough, if I push it one more time, Lure is gone. Okay. What we got here now is we got a nice one. 4.3. See, there's the, the money. Pretty decent money. But look at that XP. 167 XPs. You catch a 4-pound bass, and that's going to be around 50. About the same amount of money, but around 50. Okay, we'll keep that one. But you saw how long it takes to get that one in. That's about the same amount of time if that was a 3.5 or a 3.2 pound. So now we're going to go to our number two rig and get rid of the camera for a second and show you again what our number two rig is. This is one if we get up to level 20. It's a uh, jig winner, 8 foot, 10 inch. That's going to cost you $7,500. Now you have to be a level 20 to get that. The Xpira MLR 3500. Now, you can also use an Xperia 2000. The 2000 is only $7,200. This one's close to $8,500, so it's, it's just a choice. They both carry about the same uh, maximum drag, okay? It's around 13 pounds. And the .011 Flora line is 10-pound line, which is uh, $630 for 500 yards. That's level 18. That Aspira Real, I'm sorry, is level 18 as well. Okay? So now let's see what we can catch one of these with. Let's see what we can do. Won't take us quite as far up the bar graph to cast out. See, I, the other one I went all the way to the top. I got out right around 150 feet. I just went like three fourths for this to get 160. So you don't have to work as hard. To get the same distance. There we go. Now, see how much faster that's coming in? See, that makes you money because it's, it's time. Uh, by now, you should have at least 15 or 20 coins for all the time in Texas, and, and you'll you can go over here and the, the lily pads and 
and get junk out of there. You see there? $279 and 63 XP for 3.2. About half the XP of what that trophy was. That's pretty good. A bass is going to be this size bass is going to be about the same amount of money, but it's only going to be about 25 or 30 XP. So, do you see the difference? Now, I know it takes days and days of sitting here in New York and grinding and grinding and grinding. But patience has its benefits. Stay here. Keep grinding. Keep grinding. When you get to level 30 and can go to Michigan, then you can get a rig. At level 30, you can get a rig where you can... Well, level 25, 25, well, actually 26, 26, you can get a, a, a Thora, let's see if I got it rigged up, let's see, yes, at level 20, 25, you can get this Thora, 7 foot 10 inch rod, it costs you $9,300. At level 26, you can get this Big River 5000 reel. Look at here. 18 and a half pounds. 17 pounds. And then you can use, and that reel is going to cost you $11,850. Then you can get the point, uh, .0085 line braid, which is uh, point, excuse me, 17 pound line I put a popper on it but you can you can go up there and and fish with that and catch uh, well you can catch walleye up there too but they're a little harder you can catch pike uh, it's just the whole idea is to level up to where you can this is what you want to wind up with okay this is level 30, 35, I'm sorry, level 35, I believe. Let me look, make sure. I don't want to tell you. That is a match rod. It's a Brutus. Well, it ain't only let me show it here. It's a Brutus, a 9 foot 10. I think it's level 35. Might be 36, but it is 35 pound test. You get a... Thunderspin 4500 or 5500, either one. 35 pound drag, but the 4500 is a little cheaper. You can get 022 fluoro, which is 35 pound line. Uh, you can use any bait you want with that. You can catch any fish in a game up to the beluga, the giant belugas, and the whales catfish in Russia. I've caught a 108 pound uh, gar with this rig down in Louisiana. For a long time, I had the uh, biggest fish ever caught in the game, 108.755, until somebody beat me, but I, you know, that's that's the name of the game. Uh, there's always somebody better, somebody bigger. That's okay, you just go back and try again. But that will catch any fish in the game, okay? So that's what you're striving for. But like I said, you've got to learn how to walk Excuse me, you got to learn how to crawl before you can walk. You got to learn how to walk before you can run. You got to learn how to run before you can sprint. Okay? And with this, you can also use that same lure that uh, purple quarter ounce. Deep runner. There's the deep runner. <laughs> there we go. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. So you can put that quarter ounce on there and you can use that one. If you want to go, if your money gets slow, it it's, doesn't cost much to go back to New York and grind some more, get some more money. Uh, when I set up that third rig when I was in New York and got my bigger fish keeper, I got all the way down to $500. You can't go anywhere with $500. But 
with lures you can fish. The advantage to fishing with lures is baits cost. Every time you catch a fish with a bait, it costs. Uh, let's see what we got here. For instance, not even let me have anything there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Shiners. Small minnows. You get 10 of them for 450 bucks. That means each fish that you catch with small minnows cost you $45. You get 10 small cut baits. Each fish you catch with that cost you $25. You catch 100 fish, it's cost you about $4,500. You catch 100 fish with a lure, it costs you whatever that lure costs to begin with. That's it. So, I like to fish with lures. Now, don't get me wrong. When I'm fishing for catfish and big blues in Michigan, I use large cut bait and duck muscle meat. That's what I use. Uh, the sturgeon up there seem to like the duck muscle meat better than they do the, the large cut. But, I'm catching fish worth $1,500, $1,600. So a $95 cost of bait, $1,000 cost of bait, kind of hurts, excuse me, $95, $100 cost of bait, you know, it, it takes away from what you earn, but I'm catching bigger fish. I can't catch those fish with lures. I can't catch sturgeon. I can't catch blues with lures. Well, you can, but it just, uh, it's not as rapid, not as productive. Uh, they like. Uh, blue and white uh, crankbaits. But there again, you might cast 50 times and catch two fish. You throw out large cut bait, duck muscle meat when you finally get to Michigan, and you're going to catch maybe 20 fish an hour. Because the, you, what you really want to have eventually is down, uh, down rods, bottom rods. You can and a four a four set of bottom rods and a four rod holder, and you're going to catch a bunch of fish. But there again, it all starts off back here. And stay here and fish. There again, let me show you where we're at. Let me go to daytime, make it a little easier. That yellow tree there. Yellow tree there. Cabin here's where you want to fish. And around 150, 160 feet is where you want to cast to. And uh, with that bigger rig, you just don't have to slide it up as far. Real, I got the smaller rig on. See, that's the difference. See, I got to remember where I'm at too. Let me put that next rig on. Now, the, if you want the trophies, aim at that tree that's kind of in between those two yellow ones. And there again, you want to go out about 150 feet. Let it sink to the bottom. Three speed, stop and go. And just do it over and over and over. And you're going to get, I don't know, I don't get tired catching fish. I like to fish. And I hope you do too. That's why you're playing the game. Just stop and go, bounce up on the bottom. Might catch one now, might not in the morning. Sometimes they bite, sometimes they don't. But at night, there's a, a challenge to catch 30 in a row. The best I've done is 18. And then there's a, you'll see a little blue at the bottom. The lure will stop. You try to lay, raise the lure, and it's gone. The fish is gone. That starts the restarts the count again and it's uh, a little frustrating so I said well if I ever get that challenge done it'll be okay okay see not a whole lot happens now I'm gonna use a coin I have a few and go at night let's see what our what our night looks like that's a double peak so we can fish from nine till get a little after ten You shouldn't have to use a coin. Now, if you do use a coin and go to night, once you get that, or 
if you don't use a coin, but if you go tonight, and once you get that first cool down done, you can go from night to night to night to night and not use a coin. Or you can use one coin and warp to that next night, and then you don't have to use any more coins. As long as you go from night to night, be careful. Because I've done it before, not watching what I was doing. And I did advance my time to 9 a.m. instead of 9 p.m. Done it. So make sure that you go to the next night, either the depending on what the peak is, 2 to 5, 9 to 10, or 9 to 11, okay? That's just a warning I want to give you. And there again, be careful with your drag. You, you don't want to, you don't want to over drag. Go one more. One more. It's better safe than sorry. It's better to under drag and have to go up, okay? There again. Now, this is, I caught a bass a while ago just to try to familiarize myself, familiarize myself with the I'll be with you in just a second. But that's about it. Hi, Mr. Master Robert. This is he. Hi, Robert. This is Kevin with Security Geeks on a recorded line. How are you doing today? Not interested. Telemarketers. Sorry. Anyhow, what I was saying is, well, I can do it here. I can show you the whole surface on it. One eye. That fish was uh, two point four six two pounds, forty eight XP, two hundred twelve dollars. I caught a bass just a while ago with my popper, just just to see him what would do, and it was 2.59 pounds. It was $284, but only 25 XP. So here's the same size fish, roughly about the same money, twice the XP. And that's what you're wanting right now. You want to level up. You want more XP. The money will come along with it. So that's about it. I hope that helps, helps you. Sorry about the phone call. Uh, telemarketers. Ain't a whole lot I can do about them. And I'm expecting a shipment. Is why I even answered a stupid phone. Sorry. Uh, so, this is a Double Talk 73, The Fisherman's Dream. Oh, by the way, if you like my video, I know it's kind of long, but I tried to put as much information in, in it as I could to help you. Please subscribe. And uh, good luck, tight lines. Uh, God bless you and your families, and I'll catch you out here again, so hopefully, better later than never, so uh, y'all come back out here, catch you a lot of fish, thanks for watching.